Hey, hockey players, it's Coach John, director of the Chicago Horn Frogs, playing out of Chicago Park District's Morgan Park Sports Center at 115th and Western. And this week's virtual session, we'll continue to work on offensive zone positioning, and we're going to focus on the position of right wing. So again here, the right wing covers the right side of the ice. The entire position, when you're looking at where you need to be or what area you need to cover, again, starts roughly here, works itself all the way down into this area here and that's the area of the ice that you would be covering as a right wing the right wing is responsible for lining up for face-offs on the right side of the ice um, generally in the offensive zone is going to stay on the right side of the ice so uh, they're going to be down here in this area like we talked about going to be your responsibility there um, when the pucks go in the corner your job is going to be going to go down here and to dig those pucks out of the corner uh, and then obviously uh, you've got to be able to make great passes you've got to be a great passer to be a winger um, and you want to score goals so as you're down in that corner there we talked about this uh, you know the puck comes down you might be over in this area here and you see the puck uh, maybe squirt around so you're going to skate down here so you're going to be down there now so as you're down there as a winger, uh, we talked last week, it's going to be the same way. You might have uh, your center parked out over here. Your left wing could be parked here. Everybody's going to be looking for open ice. Your job is to make a good pass to those guys um, to uh, try and get a scoring chance. Again, if you can't make a pass to them to get a scoring chance, uh, you need to create open ice for yourself by moving around and maybe coming around and again, taking a shot and trying to score a goal yourself. The one thing that I didn't talk about last week when we talked about being left wing, um, and it's something, uh, obviously at the lower levels, it's a little harder to do. You're just not thinking about it as much, but it's something I want you guys to start thinking about. Um, one thing that I see in today's game, especially at the youth level with the young kids, you've got defensemen up here on the point. Um, those defensemen are not used anywhere near as much as they should. Everybody kind of just gets hyper-focused on getting around and getting the net and scoring. Uh, you know, wings, you want to be an effective wing. Obviously, as, as I said, you need to be a great passer. The other thing I really want you to look at is pick your head up and take a look and see where all your teammates are on the ice. If you see that you've got a defenseman open, and I guarantee you through the course of a game, uh, there are going to be times when that defenseman is open. Don't be afraid to skate a little bit if you don't think you can make the pass. Pass that puck to that defenseman. That defenseman then can uh, walk the line. He can skate in a little bit so he can go this way. He can come in this way, and he can try and get a shot. And if you've got players here, say you've got your center or a wing here, um, that creates traffic in front of the net. It's perfectly, uh, perfectly fine to try and get that shot off and try and get a scoring chance. So again, hockey players, you know, being a left wing, you're going to line up for, I'm sorry, being a right wing, you're going to line up for faceoffs on the right side of the ice. Um, you're going to stay on the right side of the ice for the most part, like we talked about. You know, your responsibility is going to be from here, roughly down, and in through here. Um, additionally, when the puck goes in the corner, you're going to try and dig pucks out of corners, gain possession, um, and you're going to try and score goals. Uh, again, one of the other focuses, you got to be a great passer. You got to be make, you have to be able to make good passes as a right wing. And the last thing, and I'll say it again, is look around see who's on the ice if your defensemen are open get those pucks up to the points they appreciate it uh, and it's going to create more scoring chances for your team uh, this is going to conclude our virtual session this week uh, any questions or comments should be directed to virtual fitness at mcfetridgesportscenter.net uh, be sure to follow us on facebook to be the first to know about news promos and upcoming contests thanks for watching everybody and stay healthy